Hello and welcome back to uh, Greenland episode number nine. So, as you remember, we was uh, doing the oats yesterday, or in game yesterday, and uh, so now we're starting on the canola. Which is a different day doing all this. Uh, there are still the bales to be uh, picked up over there, so we'll do that as well. I'm just going to do a quick one around the headland with the uh, this hired combine. We didn't bother returning it last night. We kept it, and uh, hopefully we should just spend. Should all be done by hopefully just after lunch. And, uh, and that. Uh, once I've got around this bend, I'll set the combine off. I have got a hired worker available for a nice moderate fee, I must admit. So uh, that'll give us a chance for him to work, get this field done, and then we'll, uh, while he's doing that, we can also unload it with the uh, Massey Ferguson and start loading up bales. Right, here's a massive bird, so we might, might as well go and take that down to the field, get it ready, all set up. And that, so that that's one less uh, job to do when it is loaded. And we'll take that down. And then we'll jump in the class, get the trailer, get the uh, front loader tool, and start uh, loading bales. Not going to be too much uh, time lapse today. We'll just go and park this up. I must admit, since I've uh, redone this farm, I'm not exactly happy with it. To be fair, I thought I'd be creating a lot more room, but it is quite tight for doing the reversing on here. There we go, nice and gently. Oh. Hi guys. Um, I have been thinking about what we can do to create more money faster because uh, this is quite, I mean it's set on normal mode so it's not on easy mode which is the equivalent to hard mode in FS19 but uh, we don't seem to be making a lot of money and I have decided that we will be knocking off seasons so it gives us a chance to build up a bit more money and that's uh, I thought that might be a bit easier. We can always put it back on again once we've got a bit more money. I'll right, just get the front loader now. Hook that up. And then uh, we'll see how well I am with this new tool that we bought. This, this was a mod, don't forget. And, uh, should make it quite easier for me doing bailing, as you saw from previous episodes, and uh, and that I'm not the world's best at bailing, so I uh, hope this will be a lot easier. Just get around this bend. So what we'll do is we'll park up the. Uh, the trail up, up here, just here, and off we'll go collecting the bales. So here we go, drop it off, and away we go. So, there's one. I think it will be a full trailer load. Can't quite remember, I think there was. 10 or 12. Um, there we go, there's the first one. Pick that up. Now, I should be able to get another bale on here. Um, makes it a lot easier for loading the trailer. There we go. Oops. And, uh, oh. I 
nice and gently and connect it up and we'll get this straight onto the trailer our first two bales folks well combine this has nearly got a full grain so we'll jump into the Massey Ferguson after we put these on and uh, get them get that emptied and that can carry on and we bring it in nice and gentle I think this might be a bit easier doing it in the first person view so I'm going to pop in there see the weeds coming up already in this field uh, we'll cultivate this well actually there is a subsoiler that I'm thinking we might need a subsoiler we do need a plow or a subsoiler, so I've got to apply that with this. Come on, get into the middle. There we go. There we go. So we'll jump into the uh, massive Ferguson, I think. Yep, it's nearly finished. I'm going to bring the massive Ferguson round. Yep. And off we go. Just wondering whether uh, this would be a good area actually for uh, a greenhouse or maybe uh, bees. Although I know we don't take that much money on bees. It's not one of the best production things. There we go. Obviously sheep is one of the best and chickens if you've got production. Production can be quite good. There you go, that's our first empty combine. So that's not bad at all is it really? Right, back to the bailey. One, file number three. Hmm. Well, start to roll. Top that yeah. caught. Sorry, you can't run off. I'm striking it up by pushing it a bit. There we go, connect it up. Not too far. That'll do. And we'll get this on the trailer. And once we got this on, I will uh, just speed it up a little bit. Not a lot. Not as fast as I normally do it. And then you can see how well I do. So, I'll speak to you in a minute, folks.
So we're back in the uh, in this just getting it set up again because the obviously because of this patch that we missed when we were doing our uh, our little excursion into midnight. We got a bit confused, so we set that off again. And then we'll carry on, folks. Pick up some more. Get that one. And I'm loaded up. Catch it before it disappears off into the next reel. And then drop this up. We'll put this on top. And that's two, four, six, and ten, fifteen possibly. Load back into a combine. It's nearly got a full load, so uh, we'll get this emptied. Still thinking that we definitely need to get something else on here. We have got that other field which has got a bit of grass on it, on the side of where we've been harvesting the oak. Well, we could put um, chickens on now, I suppose. We've also got that field in front of the house. That could be uh, useful to you. We're at 38% at the moment. And that's going to bring us up to about 70% of the course. 72, 73, 77% mm. not bad. So, uh, we'll go back to the bailing, get that loaded up, because obviously we need to, I want to sell all of that lot. So, definitely going to be a full trailer of uh, canola. That's all very good. I'm just going to move this forward a little bit more. And then we'll go and uh, jump back in the class. There we go. And 15. Excellent. So we'll hook up the trailer, uh, take it down by the side of the shed, I'll unhook it, we'll 
take the uh, front loader off the uh, class. Hopefully by then the uh, combine will have we'll get the rest of the, of the kid area. Yeah, we'll get the rest of the canola into the trailer. Deliver that. We'll need to find out where's the best place for that actually. So, uh, the best price. And then uh, let's see what happens. So, uh, so I'm just going to park the trailer here. I'll unhook it just here. And we'll flop the front loader off. Other side of the piggies. Don't know why I've decided I've started leaving it there. But I mean, so one of the things is we could buy cows and uh, get a few cows and produce that stuff. I know we've got a bale of hay and a bale of straw somewhere. There we go. Well, it's finished. We've just got a few little bits to do. So we might as well do them that side. Glow that down and start work. Well, there's this bit here, and there's a bit just over there on the left, as you can see, just up the top corner. Won't take too long to do. And then we can return this. So we don't get any more charges. And we need the required. So I think it's definitely going to fill this trailer. And I don't know how much will be left. But we'll get it all combined first. And then uh, we've still got quite a bit left in there, 1,023 litres. Yeah. It's not going to be much, but a really lot, as I say. Just do these, this bit up here. The hired worker was only here for three hours, didn't he? So. No worries, Let me know what you think to the map, guys. I, I kind of like it. Right. Very different, though. So there we go, this will be the last little bit. I'll empty this into... Oh no, actually, we can't because the trailer's full, so we'll, we'll just leave this down here. And uh, we'll take the Massey Ferguson, go and get that emptied. And... Yeah, nice little walk up the field. Beautiful day though, isn't it? Oh, where are we going to take it? Where's the best place for us? As you can see, I have got the uh, the field leasing. What? BGA Green. 1,656. That's not too bad a price. It is on the rise. We haven't got a grain silo here. So we just got to sell it. Unfortunately, mm. they parked that back to there. Yeah. BJ is not too far away actually if you take the bottom of the road and turn right. 
and just follow it. Just do that. It's not too bad. I wonder where we'll have to sell the straw. Hmm. Right, hang on a minute, I've got to put my. Uh, I'm going to put the strobes on. Nope, that's a lot. That's it. Nope. Okay, turn it off. I'm going to have to add as that indicator. Is my indicator working? Yes, no, yes, no. Let's put, uh, that's it. You can see the sign for the BVA just in front of us. Now I'll do it correctly this time because I did get a telling off last time for a wavebridge. So we'll do the wavebridge first and then, uh, and then we'll empty it. And there. Made. I'm looking to get at least 15,000 for this. So let's go a little around. I said 15,000, so that'll be 30k. So anything of more than that is a bonus. Oh, oh not bad. 20,800. Wow. I'm, I'm impressed. So we have got a little bit more left in there, so we're going to pick it up and move it here. There we are. Like I said, not very much. Just a little bit more. Oh, there's a glass. 35. There you go, 37,500 pounds. Trying to make money, thankfully, but of course we are going to lose it. So I'm going to meet you back at the farm. And, uh, there we go. My study right back. Oh, they're working there. I've really got to get this one to get control panel sorted. I've got the drive. So I'll drop the trailer off, then we'll go and the, uh, take the straw. Might as well use the massive folks then. Then a bit more reversing. So I'm going to shut up and concentrate while I do this. Nice and steady, nice and steady. Oh, have we touched the wall? I think we might have. Yeah. Yes, so. Uh, when we do have a bit more money, I might have to rethink this uh, this area out. Not much room for reversing these trailers. So, there we go, that's off. Let's hook up onto the uh, straw. Why not where we can sell that for the best price? To be fair, I think there is only one place we can sell straw bale. So, let's have a look. Straw. There we go, yeah, Greenland auction, £98 a thousand litres, so nearly £100 a litre. We return the uh, combine harvester, we don't get charged for that anymore. Incidentally I have removed the GPS mod. I was having a few problems with it. I need to uh, practice with that a bit more. Uh, <coughs> there we go. So 
I like that tree there, but it does uh, cause pain. It could be something. You could get a chainsaw, cut it down, and it's go and sell it. That could be another few pounds. So here we go. Go through the town to Greenland auction. And once we've uh, sold that, folks, we'll call it a day for this video. And uh, I'll go and have some lunch. <coughs> right, there we go. The field in front being covered in lime. Oops, so you get over and you fold it. 33 mile an hour in the track. It is a bit bumpy this road. I am starting to get you get known by the locals around here. In fact I had a gentleman come by the other day who uh, he wanted to know if I'd be interested in uh, selling him some straw some hay bales, sorry, hay he wanted. I hadn't got any at the time, so he didn't have any. And he's got the uh, equestrian centre up the road. He just, just wanted a couple of bales to deliver them. But uh, unfortunately, I hadn't got them. Now we spend opposite the uh, petrol station. Should be our turning point. Just here, I believe. Yeah, there we go. Turn down here. Only a short way just down here. And we'll have to reverse the trailer into the uh, cell point. And let's see how much we get. So it was £98 a thousand litres. We've got 7,000 and 75,000 litres. Mmm. Reverse it into the uh, bay just there, <coughs> and then uh, we'll call it for day. So, thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button for uh, so you get notified when uh, the next video gets released. If you do have any comments, feel free to leave them. And we'll just back up, take the. Uh, off and there we go folks 7577 7, stack that's not bad so see you again soon thank you for watching